hello welcome to another video in power bi today we'll, we will learn the uh, conditional color formatting in a graph okay for that i will just quick will take the one uh, clustered column chart here between the product category and the sales on the y axis okay i will just quickly make some formatting in order to make the things <coughs> little more clear let's say on x axis we have the values make it little large in order to make it more visible on the y axis i will go to values make it 18 and then black okay and the background I should make it as a transparent let's go to effect and make it like this make some border visuals border you can make some round by 10% or like this okay so this is my the graph simple graph uh, clustered column graph without any color conditional formatting so what i am going to do i will apply two type of different uh, conditional formatting here number one uh, gradient type okay just select it and go to the options from here column here you can see the, you have a column color blue if you want to change the color of column you can just simply change from here like this okay but let i let it be the blue now i will go to the this button fx this fx is actually showing the conditional formatting okay just click it now by default this function will show you the conditional formatting of the color depends on the uh, gradient default it will be shown here okay so it is showing the uh, where to apply the conditional formatting uh, what field value okay so you have to select the field value from here so in my uh, sales table sales table i have to apply on the price sales sorry on the sales on the sales where is the this is the sales okay now summarize is a sum as zero and what should be the minimum and maximum color this will actually will convert your all glove from this color to maximum of this color this is called the gradient okay so just click ok see your graph is changed in this color if you want to change another color so you can make it like say like that if you want to make it the uh, all the gradient color of a uh, red or green let's say i select the minimum color from here this one and the maximum of this column to this column now click ok so this change the gradient color in the shade of the uh, red you can say that okay if you want to make it sort out you can make it sort out from like this ascending and descending order so this is this is the actually the gradient uh, conditional formatting but now assume the second condition that uh, one thing more i let let me just open and show is the data type data values so that i can apply another formatting values should be 18 in the black color okay now the second condition is that i want to apply the color conditional formatting such that the values greater than the 14 million should be in another color and the values uh, less than the 13.9 million should be the in another color okay for that uh, i will take uh, another graph i will what will i will do i will just make a copy and paste let's say i will just take a copy and will paste here should make it little small like this okay now in this column in this graph i will apply the conditional formatting depends on the values of field values okay for this i will go to the again column and i'm go i'm going to remove this 
gradient conditional formatting by just this button remove conditional formatting it will be now in original condition now I will go again to function conditional function <coughs> now from here color category I have to first select the type of the formatting okay now this is the rule Be before it was the gradient now I will select the rule and the in the rule uh, I will select the <coughs> my sales data because on y axis I have the sales data okay sum of sales data from here I have to first select this one is a number because the data on my y axis showing in the number not in the percentage so I will say that the values is greater than and equal to 14 million let's say 14 and then million means I have to apply 40 1 2 3 4 5 sorry uh, 4, 5, 6, okay, 14 million and the value should be equal to greater than 14 million and less than and less than this 32 million, okay. This is the maximum value on the graph you can see it is a 32 million here. But I am not going to write a 32 million. Uh, this is the right now maximum value is a 32 million but if you update your data it could be a 32 to 35 million anything else but I want here to write the maximum the value should be 14 million to above all the values should be in another color and the below the 40 million should be another color so I will just write here as a max okay means that all the values equal to greater than 14 million and less than the maximum value in the uh, graph should be the color of let's say green okay green and the value should be greater than equal to 0 okay and less than equal to this value 14 million I will write here 14 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 should be in the red color let's say this one red color okay understand you understand this if you understand this logic you can make any conditional formatting color formatting depends on the values this showing then again the values should be greater than equal to the 14 million and less than the maximum value should be the green and the value should be equal to greater than the 0 and less than the 14 million this values should be equal to the red now just click ok no the values is change accordingly because what I condition uh, if you remember the value should be equal to greater than 14 million the value should be the green and the value should be the equal to uh, equal to uh, equal to greater than 0 to the values less than the 40 million should be the red so these all values become the red so in this way you can highlight your maximum sales and this you if you want to check the threshold that if the my the sales is uh, greater than this values then the graph should be the green if the sales value uh, great less than the this value then the graph column should be the uh, red okay so you can do some more formatting here this was actually the conditional formatting which I wanted to discuss if you want to make the uh, let's say the column width of the column little small you can come from here column and then go layout and from here you can make a column width small like this one okay so this all well about the conditional color formatting hope you like the video till next video we'll discuss another tool in the power bi till next video take very good care yourself till next time Allah Hafiz